Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 as Emperor Charles the Great. In our last episode we took steps to deal with our Duke here, the Duke of Burgundy. We had him excommunicated so that we would have cause to imprison him. And of course he did not get arrested and instead raised his flag in rebellion against us, so we are making him be arrested by force, if I can phrase it in an extremely awkward way. Uh, apparently, we are in danger of losing the papacy as a vassal. Again, I'm not sure if that actually is going to happen, but we'll find out, I suppose. Do have a lot of Viking raiders as well, which we might do something about. Still a bishopric to siege in here. So we'll probably just revoke his duchy title from him and give it to somebody else who will like us better. And we can also use this opportunity to sort of tidy up his du jour borders, because he had land up here and here, or has vassals up here, which aren't supposed to be underneath him. In fact, I think this county is part of my capital duchy, so we'll probably just uh, revoke that from the count in there as well, which we should be able to plot to do. Uh, this count has let me know that the plot to kill the person we are plotting against is proceeding well. A party of mercenaries in his employ will ambush the person whose name is almost unpronounceable. Disguised as mercenaries within a month. Classic. More longships. Uh, I don't really want to divert any of my troops. We could raise some vassal troops to deal with some of these Vikings, I guess. I mean, some of my vassals are taking care of it autonomously, so we'll just leave them to it. At least for the moment. Typhoid fever. Let's try not to catch that. We are already maimed, so we don't have the best health. My marshal told me about his ideas. I couldn't really understand what he was talking about, but he was adamant in his belief that this would improve the military. We'll definitely adopt his ideas. He's been our courtier and our marshal for years now. I guess we, the least we could do is get him married. Probably not to our daughter, though. He's an old Norseman. Let's see. we could go for somebody at least relatively close to his age. It probably doesn't matter that much. He seemed like a good character. about to finish the last siege here in the capital, we'll, I suppose, just move on to this county. This is held by him directly. We do have our two prisoners. And some free technology from Byzantines. Duke of Provence is attempting to revoke a county. All right. We'll allow it, I suppose. Okay, and we have some kind of revolt going on there. My grandson Gargamel is modest and humble, never showing off or bragging. We can have him become humble, or we can thank Jesus for his virtues. Yeah, we'll quietly encourage him, I guess. He has it bad enough. Poor Gargamel. How is Charles doing? Still just fine.
And we have another grandson who needs educating. Well, we can't take care of him ourselves since we already have two wards. We'll give him to somebody else. I guess we can use him for opinion. Give him to Lombardy. Or how about this Duchess of Spoleto? She's ambitious, so she's probably never going to be happy, no matter what we do. Uh, how about the Duke of Provence? He'll do just fine, I guess. He might become Frankish. That's okay. It's not the end of the world. Not much in the way of French culture spreading, but I assume it'll happen. Eventually. Population in Artois has been converted to the Catholic faith, okay. That's somewhere up here, I think. Not sure exactly. Free technology from Constantinople is also good. And we are up to 85% with that siege, but not quite getting there just yet. The Duke of Lombardy in Pisa is providing me with proof that this Count has been slandering me. Escapé. Uh, well, he's happy enough with me. So we'll just leave him alone. Or his dynasty will never amount to anything anyway. Okay, 89%. I think maybe to speed this up a little bit, I'll raise a few more troops and send them to siege some of the land up here. To take some from our nearby vassals. Those, well, Normandy's at minus 28, so it's not great, but he'll be alright. He'll get over it. Or she. It's a he. Okay. I think that was the last of our upgrades that finished building there. We can probably do some more in the near future. Maybe while we're still supporting our domain levies, we'll hold off on that, though. So let's see, this county here is supposed to be under my capital duchy. This one is part of the Duchy of Normandy, so we can transfer that vassalage. And this one down here is supposed to be under Barcelona. Okay, so we can get those taken care of and regrant the duchy title to somebody in here who will only have their correct du jour vassals beneath them. We'll make our direct vassals map mode look a little bit neater at least. My grandson Charles is aiming for the stars, the ambitious little brat. Absolutely, we will say that is only right. Gain the ambitious trait. Already up to 13 diplomacy at the age of 10. Better even than me. Oh. And we have a new Duke of Burgundy which has invalidated my war. Well, that was a huge waste of time. Fortunately, he's really happy with me, so... I don't really feel justified in excommunicating him and trying to imprison him. But I really want to do what I was talking about with tidying up the de jure borders and taking this county for myself. 
it's, it's under him. So maybe we'll just excommunicate the new duke as well. We can spare the piety. He is excommunicated, okay. So we can attempt to imprison him. Can we not? Apparently not, okay. Not a Catholic du jour vassal. Well, who knows what's going on there. I don't think we can plot to revoke this county as is, since it's not belonging to a direct vassal. Yeah, so that's kind of annoying, I suppose. Hmm. Oh well, we'll try again later, I guess. When is our truce with the Byzantines over? It's uh, November 806, so we'll be able to go to war with them again at that point. Hey, okay, our Duke down in Fruli is a little happier with me, so that's good. And the Duke of Provence has finished his whatever he was doing there. The lady almost ran me down as I entered the hall. Tearfully, she told me that my grandson Gargamel had insulted her again. Oh, Gargamel. You and your exploits. We will... I suppose make him honest. So we do have righteous imprisonment on some other dukes. The Duke of Gascony down here. He, I think, has mostly got his du jour land though, so I don't really mind about him so much. He has one extra county, but it's adjacent so it's not really a big deal. Supposed to be under Aquitaine. And the Duke of Upper Burgundy over here. He's probably okay as well. Uh, let's see. He is not a double duke. He also has the County of Savoy, which is not part of Upper Burgundy. Oh, his is kind of messy. Yeah, I think we will try and imprison him. Okay, we failed, that's fine. We'll be able to fight his rebellion and revoke his title. Uh, I apparently have raised levies. Oh, over here, okay. Well, that's fine, I guess they can stay raised. Oh, we raised some right on top of some Vikings. Let's hope they win. I think they should. We'll avoid telling them to move for now. Are those even Vikings? I don't think they actually are. You are passing through there. I guess we'll let these two armies stay here and deal with this party of raiders where they come down and help. Okay, the Great White Stag in Ulm. Saddle my horse. And King Rupert of Pictland wants to marry some person to my daughter. Is this even a relative of his? No, it's his brother. Okay. Yeah, alright. I'll accept. Gain an alliance with Pictland.
We're being warned about the Pope again. And we lost our steward, okay. We'll appoint somebody else. This duke even wants to be steward, he'll be even happier than he already is and go up to 20 skill. We'll tell him to co collect taxes in our capital as usual. And I think we'll just go ahead and raise some vassal levies right now to deal with this revolt. Since we'd like to end it in a reasonable amount of time. Split this army in half and take some of you down to here as well. We've gathered our followers and our hunting dogs, and have saddled our horse, prepared our weapons. We are ready to set out to hunt the Great White Stag. Okay. More raiders up here. You spend weeks in the wilderness searching for any trace of your prey, but are forced to return empty-handed. You are sure that no one's impressed by your failed adventure, so we lose 20 prestige, which we can stand to lose. It's not really a big deal. Typhus in Rome. I guess that increases the chances of the Pope dying pretty soon. But our son is of age and he became a skilled tactician. A reasonably okay military character. Guess we'll get him married to somebody. A 15 year old strong character. Would be okay, I guess. Or the Strategitissa of Epirus. Hmm. Apparently not going to get a particularly good alliance out of this, it looks like. We married him to somebody that was related to one of our vassal dukes. I guess that would improve relations with them. Uh, sure, we'll turn them to this a uh, strong 15 year old might not be to his preference but he'll do his duty for the realm should probably go and fight this army from upper burgundy here So that marriage can go through, we will accept, and we have a grandson who needs educating. We'll have to give him to somebody else as well. I guess we will give him to the Duchess of Spoleto here. He might become Lombard, we don't really care. We don't have any faction problems anyway, so we don't really need to worry about it too much, I think. I think as soon as we finish this siege here, we'll go down and fight the army. And we have converted county we were working on down here, which is good. Move our chaplain down to the next one. Money continues to flow through the trade post in Piombino, but your relationship with the merchant family that owns it has soured. We'll decline to burn down the trade post. I don't think that's necessary. Okay, we'll actually divert this army. Although, that's... Nah, that we're going to be attacking them in the mountains. We'll wait for the larger one to be free. 
stay where you are. Okay. Should have enough numbers to win that battle, even despite the mountains. But it's going to have to wait for the next episode because we are out of time for now, so thanks for watching and join me again then.